Did you ever hear about the Presocratics, namely one Parmenides? His journey towards the night, Nyx. A beautiful fragment, well preserved. You can read follow ups edition, the Presocratics. However, there is a very important argument used there doxa, doxology, that people may have opinions about gods and powers. But these are my opinions. The truth and objective truth about God is unattainable to mortals. So I believe, that's my pet belief, that every experience, metaphysical experience, rapture of the soul, of the spirit towards the stars, towards powers and forces, just imagine yourself. You are taken from a position of sleeping, non-sleeping, all of a sudden a flash of golden light. You are baited with powers in total symphonies of the cosmos, in the transcendent, sub-transcendent, hyper worlds. The powers are overbearing, overburdening. You feel that little. And then everything comes to the fore, the holy ingas, the symbols, the signs, the greatness, the roars, the fires, the power, the vastness of the universe. And you observe certain things. It is imprinted as a sacrament on your intellect and you return back to the body. And it depends on your hypothetic skills, that is, interpreting the divinities. If you have a certain set of beliefs, in certain socio-historical framework, you project a lot upon the realities you can never capture nor understand. You can approximate them. So you write, then there was a mighty god that shoved his uh, fire upon the people and now we shall obey the law that I will scribble down because that's what I think that it is. It has nothing to do with divinities. But you can approximate. There are powers, there are forces, there are priori, there are ontological, there are objective, yes. But what you make of it, how you interpret that, is up to you. And that is the mistake of every personal agnosis. You scribble down everything. What you think that it is so. If you have no intellectual humility, or scientific training, or background, you go awfully wrong. You think, yes, I am the chosen one, or yes, that is true what I have projected upon those divine worlds. But it is not so. It is your opinion. It doesn't mean that the metaphysical divine worlds don't exist. They do. But when you witness them, you must understand that everything you produce, every theology, philosophy, is your opinion. And Jamblich, the great master, theurgist, taumaturgist, Jamblichus, said that all theology, philosophy, religion was man-made, made by mortals. And if it was made better, it helped others to realize certain things, for them to have the right experience themselves and to realize it. And perhaps to ascend, to join those forces, to become godlike, like gods, goddesses. The Hindis also wrote about this. They tried to approximate those realities in very advanced techniques, very advanced realizations, the Buddhists, the Buddhist schools, the Egyptians, the mysteries of Orphics, Eleusiniacs, and so on and so on. The Chaldean Magoi, they all tried to approximate it in the best possible degree, in an interval, not covering objective total truth, but at least giving you a hint that you may follow it and approximate it and near those forces and powers through responsible actions, through occult realizations, through magical operations, through all that. Still, no human knowledge is perfect and never will be, especially when you encounter forces that are beyond you. Because if the world is indivisible and we only create categories of it, we cannot create a total category trans, tra, transcending our own cognition and our biological vehicles. We cannot extract ourselves as categories, making categories from this world in order to comprehend the whole. As simple as that. Thank you.